This is DC Universe Online. We're here on PlayStation 5. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So this game has been given a proper current gen. A lot of people call it a next gen update to the game, which is kind of awesome. Perhaps some would say well overdue, but just kind of a nice surprise. So this is going to be a significant upgrade having a native application for the PlayStation 5 console. So what are we getting here? It's a native 4K resolution, 60 FPS, and yeah, you know what? It looks a lot sharper in terms of the visual fidelity, and yeah, just kind of a cleaner overall, I guess you would say, interface and experience in regards to like the HUD, the UI everything like that so like per usual you know you just continue to log in like you always do if you're new to the game you make a character you hop in and play i've checked this out quite a few times like i've played this on the xbox the switch and i've had my fair share of dc universe online experiences you know it's a free to play adventure with lots of extra content that they've added tons of content over the years and it does seem like there is some performance bumps here, but we're gonna have to really, I guess, to some degree, test the greater open world. But yeah, you're you're kind of like in this universe where you create whatever kind of hero or villain you want, and kind of have whatever sort of mentor setup, magical abilities, tools, weapons, guns, all kinds of stuff, in this free-to-play MMORPG experience that has surprisingly really kind of stood the test of time. Some would say from a gameplay perspective, like it's it's been around for a very, very long time, keeps getting updates. I always take advantage of the yearly kind of options, because there's like usually yearly packs for their anniversaries where you get like free character levels. Love that kind of stuff. So this one is also, I guess, crossplay in regards to uh, PS5, PS4, and PC players are still able to play together on mega servers and stuff like that. So it's kind of been a, a benefit for this platform over the years, for sure. And everything you have carries over. You simply log in and everything is good to go. You don't have to think of anything past that. You just get to enjoy a better looking game. Now they haven't like completely redone everything, if, if that makes sense. Like it's not like they've remastered the game, but it is kind of an impressive clean resolution bump up just in regards to making this look a lot sharper of a gameplay. Like, it was always available through the back and pad, which I'm sure some of you will be aware of if you've played this, right? I'm, I'm sure you've, you're, you're well familiar with this game if you've played it over the years. And you'll just be like, okay, so now it just looks a lot better. And that's totally cool. That's sometimes all it takes, right? Is it's nice to get this kind of quality bump up. And I think on PlayStation, you'll definitely appreciate that sort of thing, because I, I do think it just looks a lot visually better. Like, you could really, really notice the difference. Although that is going to come with a little bit of uh, performance demand with that, right? Because it is hitting a native 4K resolution, and I'm already seeing bumps of, of like, frame stuff here or there. But, like, it's also sometimes hard to tell if that is, like, a server kind of thing. Uh, as opposed to necessarily like the game itself, if that makes sense, but uh, I think the cleaner visual presentation is really, really quite appreciated, honestly. Like, it's nice to see companies actually take the time to support their titles long term, right? Because it is a lot easier just to kind of like do cruise control. Like a lot of MMORPGs in particular, they kind of do their console release and then they just kind of leave it at that, right? So it's a small but appreciated bump up to this game. I think everything just looks much cleaner. Except for that uh, wild performance hit. Oh, look what's going over there. <gasps> Is that the Green Lantern and Batman and, and Wonder Woman going to save the day against all those characters that are just standing there? Those, those enemies, they're, they're not even moving. We must make our way to the ship's core. So yeah, you kind of get all these different events, and then the world itself, once you get into it, it's just like this large selection of open world areas, and there's like player, lots of player 
choice areas, if that makes sense. Like, you're really able to get a lot going on if you spend time playing this. And then you do different characters and replay and make different setups. And There's a lot of uh, game value here, if that makes sense. And then if you want to go further, they have, like, countless... I guess you would say expansions and, and other things that allow you to just kind of go a lot further with the game, like if you like it. They definitely do treat you to a steady amount of content. And some pretty good tie-ins too for stuff that's happening DC-wise. Which is quieter or noisier depending on what's happening DC-wise, right? But yeah, it's pretty easy to play. You get a lot of intuitive options. Customization is genuinely kind of impressive like you really can make whatever kind of character you want and it's from I guess you would say a bit of an era where you really were allowed to do whatever you wanted and I think that's kind of cool like you can make regular characters but you can also do things like lava skin characters and just whatever weird quirky thing you're into and then they've got all the templates too so you can literally be like oh you want to be like a Catwoman like character or some of them are like premium options, because obviously, you know, being a free-to-play game, they give you... I think they give you a good amount of stuff on this one. Like, you don't really feel locked out of things, but if you want to take things further, they give you the options to go and do that to support the game, and I think there's a pretty good balance in this one, at least from what I've noticed over the years, and it's kind of uh, just nice that it keeps sort of going. Like, it really... You know, like, a lot of games kind of come and go the MMORPGs particularly but like yeah this one definitely has persevered for sure which is amazing and it's just like seeing all the different like characters and stuff is so cool when you're in that open world you're visiting all these places although yeah it definitely seems like the performance is buckling with this push to the native <laughs> 4K 60 I, I don't know still too demanding for these consoles this is a legitimate question yeah, this one is a lot of fun. Stop this ship from abducting anyone else. How, Superman? You want me to hold this console? Use the terminal. Yes, that exposed the AI core. Destroy it. Well, why doesn't Superman destroy it? Superman too lazy? I feel like he's just taking his time while I'm having to sit here and battle. Hmm. But there's lots of world events too, and teaming up with other superheroes and characters. You can play it however you want, with friends, with randoms, uh, you, get, you get a little bit of everything here. Just the flying class, because I think it's a little easier to get around. Oh no! Whatever will we do? But seriously, I always recommend logging in during the yearly events. Uh, because it's, it's a lot easier when you're there for their anniversary and they drop you like a max character kind of pack up. Or level up kind of thing. It's so helpful. Oh no, how are we going to stop this madman? Witness now the folly of your efforts. Okay. Nothing can escape the control of Brainiac. Alright. Focus on defeating Brainiac. I'll secure the teleport. Focus on defeating Brainiac. But I am but a low-level hero. Brainiac's too powerful to be kept alive. Seriously though, this guy's a problem. Gotta wonder how weak the uh, the Justice League is if I'm getting this done, eh? I think the villain side is kind of cool too. Like it's just really mentors and different like traits that you take on based on your mentors. And there's lots of configurations as well for your like skill sets as you continue to level. Die, Brainiac! Die! Yeah, you're gonna be damaged beyond prepare, repair once Skyfall is done with you. Oh, now the rest of the Justice League gets in here. Oh, 
<gasps> Where did he go? If you're interested in joining the fight for justice, the League would be happy to teach you. I actually want to be part of the Legion of Doom. She's got the assets, so I'll give you that much. Yes! yes. Teleporter's unlocked. Your pal Oracle's always got your back. Now let's get out of this place. Well, it all loads pretty fast, too, even though it's all, like, multiplayer server reliant. It just kind of works. Uh-oh. What did I just click into? Oh, yeah, the fight for Earth. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. All that stuff. Being a hero. It's time to go and face the greater world. Or at least try to. Speak with Oracle Bot. I just want to get out there in the world, you know what I mean? The teleporter is currently unavailable. Uh, of course it is. Oracle Bot, I don't want to talk to you. Good to meet you in the flesh. Well, so to speak, consider this league-friendly safe house a temporary place to repair your gear, check your mail, have a soda coke. Yeah, whatever. Ain't nobody got time for that. I need to see the greater open world, because I know all, a lot of you are probably sitting here being like, I need to see how the world runs. I gotcha. I gotcha. Don't forget, you have fast movement. It's the easiest way to get across a big city. Try it out. This is Superman. The city definitely looks way better, but that performance... Again, I don't know if it's like just fully kind of like server or what, but... Definitely some performance issues. Which would be funny, because I remember this actually running decently well. Before this uh, kind of release. I mean, like a speed boost, too. But yeah, you get like these open world areas to visit where you can go and do battles and fight crime and save the day and you know, you get like these world events and stuff. A devolving citizen? More like a dead citizen now, am I right? See, I saved that guy by ending his life. That's what heroes do. They save the day. It, it looks really clean and sharp. I mean, it's definitely not going to be like a modern MMORPG kind of thing, if that makes sense, but like, you know, for something this old, it's not a bad cleanup, not a bad bit of shine, I, I will say for sure. So definitely props to the team for actually taking the time to do this update instead of just like coasting. At the same time, I do ponder how demanding a 4K is for this. But I applaud the sharpness. And the chance to be a hero once more. I mean, you could always be a hero. It's just gonna look better. Yeah, you really do get to see a wide range of unique heroes and characters, don't you? I need a hero. How long is this event going on for? No. Kind of just like an XP grinding fest. Oh, and there's like uh, clan like groups you can join. <laughs> the PS5 version looks a little bit buggy. That's funny. So let's talk about some performance issue stuff. Hmm. Still, I like from a visual standpoint, it, it does look a lot better. Will we ever save the day? That's what I want to know. Hmm. I guess if you're a DC fan, this is kind of like the ultimate... Uh, DC sort of experience, isn't it? They really give you everything. There's like a lot of uh, settings you can change too. The UI. I 
hide UI during gameplay. Open world combat. Chat, chat font size. 20. Enable chat fading. Yes. Hmm. Effects quality max. Effects fade. Character outlines off. So you could theoretically adjust some of the video settings to help a little bit too. Hmm. You know, we really don't get too many uh, MMORPGs like this anymore, do we? To stop Grodd's gorillas at the Queen's Defeat Lab. Gorilla Scouts? Tech, even Star Labs hasn't seen in action before. But I took on Brainiac. Now. This is like, uh, you know, easy going stuff. This just seems to be a city that's been under siege for like a decade. Actually, how long has this been going on? This, this game's had some like crazy longevity to it, hasn't it? There was like a Marvel one too. Actually a real shame that they didn't keep going with the Marvel one. Although the Marvel one was a bit of like a, a Diablo, like was it Marvel Heroes Omega or something like that? I remember actually kind of enjoying that one and it's just sort of gone. I was like, really? That's a bummer. It'd be cool to have like a Marvel like game like this too. Wonder if this one will ever go through one of those crazy transformations where they uh, completely revisually do it at something, right? To access my journal, Gorilla by the Here's Sea. Some background intel. Gorilla Grodd is a hyper intelligent ape who hates humanity. He believes apes, meaning himself, should rule. As if Brainiac weren't bad enough. I mean, apes aren't any big deal. Unless it's Planet of the Apes, and that's a problem. Destroy the devices and weaken Grodd's forces. Grodd's teleporters run off fuel cells. The more we destroy, the fewer troops they can bring in. Think yeah, there's definitely performance issues in this. I don't think it's just servers. Must kill all of the monkeys. We don't want a Planet of the Apes scenario in this place. No siree. Must kill these gorilla lieutenants. It is the only way. You think they would at least give you like a, a supporter or member of the Justice League for your first venture out there on the boardwalk, eh? I think we're saving the day one hit at a time. I don't care how many gorillas we're gonna have to kill to get the job done. This is for the Justice League. The only good gorilla is a dead gorilla. Are they mad about humanity changing the environment and making it so that the gorilla lieutenants are not sustainable anymore? Imagine the amount of protein you have to get to like feed these many giant gorilla creatures. It's a lot. Trying to think of the logistics of this, of trying to like feed an armed invasion like this that keeps going for a decade. Seems like a lot of work. We still need to defeat one more General Lieutenant Gorilla? <gasps> Can I get the job done? Or is this the end of my role on the Justice League? Now oh, there we go. It actually really motivates me to sit here and play more of this. It's actually kind of fun. Like I, I kind of like the uh, sort of almost casualness to like grinding out MMORPGs and just kind of like engaging with the worlds. I think it's really cool. Grod turns people to apes, then controls their minds, and he considers us uncivilized villains. Villains, I know, right? The real villains would make this not run the smooth 60 FPS. <laughs> Neural arrays clustered on rooftops nearby to reinforce his devolution devices. Take those out, and you can create a device to reverse the devolution effect.